Okay guys, welcome back. I think we are in part four now. Oh, I don't know why, but I keep losing track. Um, of Fatal Frame slash Project Zero Five, Maiden of Blackwater. All right, last time we finished the second drop with, surprise, surprise, an A rating, a rating. I didn't expect that at all. Um, what happened was basically um, at the start of the part, we were trying to get Fuyuki out of the forest, but she didn't really want to cooperate with us. We got separated, um, and we saw her standing at the bank, um, slitting her throat. Not just slitting her throat, but nearly severing her head. Um, that was kind of gruesome. We had two more or less in intense, I, I don't want to call them boss battles, but ghost fights. Um, and then we basically went back without Fuyui, because I don't think we found her body. Um, flash forward to uh, Nen here, this guy, this one, the, the guy with the glasses, him. Uh, that's Rui, by the way, the little guy. Um, and we have some strange compulsion to go into the mountain, at the, the cursed mountain at that at night, which we just did. Um, because we believe that there may be more items related to these post-mortem photographs and, uh, in the album that we got uh, earlier. So uh, that's why we are here. We just found a messy note talking about something on the roof. Um, yeah, that's the door. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, and I believe that's where this is going to take us next up onto the roof of this small building. As I said last time around, um, I'm getting a little more positive about this game as it moves on than, it, than I was before. The first two parts, I feel like I shit at the, yeah, shit at the game a little too much. I was, I was very critical, overly critical. I think I still am um, because I'm also playing the original at the moment, which I've mentioned several times. Um, but I'm getting, I don't, I'm not sure if I can say I'm getting better, but I'm, I'm discovering things I'm liking. I'm still not a fan of 20,000, what, where, what, oh, there, there's something there, of 20,000 mechanics, which uh, I'm not sure if we need them, but. But things are looking up. What? Where did... They always do that. They always sneak around me. And that's annoying. That's very bad. Don't you do that. Where? Yeah, well, the, the, it's... I know, I know, I know. But it's... Kind of not what you want to do, right? Like... Come on, you're gonna die now. Well, you're gonna be exercised. You're already dead. Thank God. Okay, that's that. Where's the other red marker come from? She in the wall again? Yes, she is. And she wants to ambush me. And the camera always goes crazy when they come near me. And that's not nice. And I need to backtrack. Oh, that's stupid. That would have been a good photo. Okay, I just need one photo of you, and then you're done. What? Oh, they can restore. I just saw that. If they draw in these tiny orbs, they restore health. Oh, that explains things. That explains what happened before. Wait, did that kind of turn me around? Did I walk somewhere I wasn't supposed to walk? Probably. Our health is still doing okay, actually. Let's go up. Ah, crap. Damn it, I missed him. I missed him. Ah, oh, well. Should 
check. But check what? Okay. All right. Ghost hand? Yeah, I let go, but I don't know. I I don't get the the timing for that yet. But that's my bad, probably. I just I don't. <laughs> but as I said, my bad. My mistake. Something I'm doing wrong. What is this film? Okay. Go, take it. Another hand? Yes! Wow, two in a row. That's a lot. Hey, come on. I'm shaking loose. <laughs> that also, there are many things in this game making me uh, say things that sound very wrong when taken out of context. Very wrong. Um, but now, unfortunately, I believe I need to actually heal myself. Yeah. But I have a couple of things. A couple. A few. I have a few. I regret missing that ghost that's going to cost me in the rating. What's... what... what? I want to see everything, do everything, everything all at once. Oh, there's an item. Um, yeah. Herbal medicine. Let's see, is there going to be another ghost hand? No. Herbal medicine times two. I'm getting lots of restoratives. Not that I'm complaining. I'm, I'm going to need them eventually. All of them. Oh, wait. Did I skip what's... Ah, there was a... Did I skip what's there? There has to be something, right? What, what are you... What are you doing? Ooh, the camera is the... Yeah, it's, it's making me nauseous a little. Ghost hand? Nope. Lots of film. You don't spook me, buddy. You do not. You do not. I hear a spirit. I'm probably supposed to, right? Sounds getting good again. Ah, I'm gonna have to look for a key, of course. Well, thank you for the tutorial, but actually, I don't need that. Psychic photograph. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing about this, but there's there's a woman looking, woman or a man, whatever, looking out of that shaft. Something in the uh, the photograph shows the duct with its hatch open. It does, and I know where it is naturally, but there's something somewhere up wherever. Oh, I... Oh, okay. Man hanged in a hole. Okay. I knew there was something here. Oh, did you leave a note? Are you gonna hang there forever? He's a typical celery man, right? Come on, buddy. It's alright. You can take a break now. You gone? Okay. What did you leave me? A note, of course. Ghost hand? No. I don't think if ghost hands ever appear for uh, pickups that are um, obligatory, like story related items. There's a soiled notebook here. Like the one found in the old building, it looks like it belonged to the innkeeper. <clears throat> Messy note too. Even before the landslide, there were always strange goings on around here. Some years ago, two girls went missing on a college field trip. The police were stunned. A few days later, one of the girls turned up again, seemingly out of her mind. 
There were lots of theories, but most people believe they were simply spirited away. That girl came back each year to look for her friend like some sort of pilgrimage. Countless people have gone missing here over the years. We're all used to it by now. Great. My father was spirited away too, as was the folklorist Keiji Watarai. Uh, next it'll be my turn, I bet. I'll vanish with the rest of them. I doubt anyone will come looking for me. Will think to come looking for me. Ah, oh, you're a positive person. I'm here looking for you. Well, not necessarily for you, only for your pictures, but... I'll look for you too, if you want me to. Um, I don't mind. If, if it makes you feel better. Ah, oh, yeah, pfft. That was stupid. I should have remembered that, but yeah. Obviously, I did not. Okay. One down, right? There's some weird noises going on in the background. Tip, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. There it is. Check. I can't get the hatch to the duct open. It's being held shut by a powerful force. Sync shots. Taking photos identical to the psychic photograph taken with the cameras. Oh boy. Ah, more mechanics. Um, that is, uh, okay. Are you gonna... Oh yeah, you're gonna tell me when it's ready. Okay. Oh, that was the wrong button. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of the mechanic because we don't necessarily need that. But I'll do it. If you want me to, I'll do it. Ghost? Ghosty? Ghosty? The hatch to the duct is not open. There's something in there among the pipes. You mean other than, like, rats? What? Where? I mean, I'm sure there's something else, too. No? There's probably gonna be something once I put my hand in there. Is that hair? Ugh. Key on yellow keychain. You found a key on yellow keychain. No, really? Ugh, but uh, don't. Ah, oh, you're... You're trying to... Like, do that again, aren't you? Got a fatal frame. Huh. I think that was my first one ever, wasn't it? Is that thing dead now? Was that my first ever fatal frame? No. Or yes? I don't know. If it was, great on me. If not, that's also fine. <laughs> anyway. Um, that was good, though. Ah. Oh, excuse me. Gotta move my uh, headphones um, a little because after a while they always get too tight on my head and uh, it starts hurting. I don't know why because these aren't like tiny headphones. Um, they're actually uh, Beats Wireless, the, the third series, I think. Ooh, nice. No, 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 no. Ooh. Oh, the, the, oh, you are trying to attack me. What the... Where am I, though? I was trying to just back up a little. Back up a little. Where are you? Where is that guy? There he is. He seems a little drunk. Which, of course, he's not, but... It seems like it. Oh, holy crap. That was an interesting shot. I 
hate that thing. No. I'm sorry for that noise in the background. Um, that's someone outside, I believe. Um, working. Oops, I shoulda just, I shoulda evaded, right? I shoulda evaded. Uh, Rui, would you, I don't know, kindly uh, move out of the way? I think that would actually be a good idea. Yeah, it, it is. It is somebody from the neighborhood. Drilling or I don't know. What? I thought that was going to be the last one. Apparently not. Okay. Um out with your camera. Thank you. Is that the last one? No. This is gonna be the last one. There we go. I think I was left something behind when it disappeared. A soiled note. It looks like it was left by the innkeeper. This place has gone from a tourist hotspot to a suicide hotspot. But I suppose that was always the case. This mountain and death go together side by side. Mikomori was once known as the Grove of Shrine Maidens. Well, yeah, Miko, Shrine Maiden, Mori, Mountain. A uh, secret grove where the mountain's maidens oversaw the deaths of pilgrims. Excuse me. Uh, easing their passing to the other side. I like that. I envy it. I wish someone would be here to see me off. Oh, who is the man who wrote those notes? Maybe I'll find something upstairs. Um, actually, I think I just saw you off. Are you like, I kind of almost got you killed. Did I? I don't know. I, I may or may not have gotten you killed. Ah, uh, can we buy anything for the camera? Yes, we could buy snapshot. Mm, do I? I don't know. Because that's something that's only going to be good for his camera, and not for the others. Oh, uh, wait, where is the... What? Huh? Wait. Did somebody dive from the roof? Probably, right? And I just missed it? Also, probably. Um... Yeah, wrong direction. Again. Because I'm so good with that. Out of the way, please. Thank you. I, you really... Um, you shouldn't move when you're running. Like, move... the Change the direction. There we go. Let's open the door. Unlock and open. Not scary, but I'll take your picture. Wow, it gave me a thousand eight hundred. Who was hanged or who hanged herself? I would assume she did that herself. I assume. Anyway, um, yeah, but those are. I like this, like exploring deeper into the buildings and actually experiencing stuff. Oh, there's probably an item there, right? Don't walk so slow. What's that? Another mirror stone? Yep. How many of those can I... Wait. I thought these were like uh, one-time items. No? Wow. Um, because in the, the previous games they were, you could only hold like one of these at a time. And if you found another one, you just weren't able to pick it up. This door open? Are there two doors? There are. Sunset, it's so beautiful. The mountain looks like it's melting. I'm not sure if that's a thing you would actually want. Man transfixed by sunset. 
I could, if I could melt into that sunset, if I could just melt away. Oh man. I actually, I, I do feel sorry for you. I mean, I feel sorry for everybody who feels like taking their life would be preferable to surviving and toughing it out. Um, you don't do those things lightly. I'm not saying suicide is ever or should ever be a valid option. Um, but I can understand why people would feel that it would be. Um, th there are so many, so many things driving people to those crass actions. That's crazy. Uh, suicide note. What a downer. There's a scrap of a notebook lying on the floor. Okay. The sunset beckons. It's calling me into the water. This is the right thing to do. It's not, but yeah, we've, we've said this. We've talked about this. You know, I, I wish there was a way to help these kinds of people. Um, there is sometimes... But unfortunately, you, you can't, especially not personally, you can't save everyone. And that's one of the sad realities of life, I think. This is such a downing topic, I'm sorry. Hand? Nope. No, but it's, but it's an important one, and that's why I kind of wanted to talk about that. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm even sorry about it. I think it's an important topic and it should be talked about. It's always better to talk about things than to not talk about them. Especially if it has the potential to help someone, anyone, with anything they do. It's always... The whole room is charred. That man might have left something behind. If he did, it'll likely be hidden. Okay, yeah. Let's... Oh! There we go. Phantom Expose. Another notebook. Oh, I didn't explore that one room, though. <laughs> oh, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, it's, it's getting, like, dinner time's coming up. So my stomach was just telling me. Um, no, don't. Do not. No, do not. Do we do not? Then come on, stop reading. Go doing. Do something. Come on. Don't. Nah. -uh. Mm mm. Don't. Come on. 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 No. Uh uh. It's, yeah, someone is there. Woman in the netherworld. Get out. Come on. Help him. Ooh. Ah, uh, help yourself too, by the way. While we're at it. Oh, she is, uh, strong. Well, not strong, but she just has lots of health. And I don't have any film that is woo, good at this. Well, I do have film. It's just so low. Shutter chance. Where is she? Ah, it always does that. Yeah, when the ghosts come near, the, just the camera, it goes crazy. 
I know, this is this, is, this poor type, the uh, thingy is wasting a lot of film, but she has tons of health, and otherwise we would be here, like, forever. Ah, oh, you gotta go, like, really slow when the ghost comes up. I wasn't pressing anything, but okay. There she is. I'm just gonna have to do one more thing. There we go. Thank God. I didn't want to see another suicide happen. On screen. Never want to see a real one happen. For that matter. Does it matter if he can remember anything? Just get him out. No, I don't want to fight her. Nah. -uh. Please don't. Don't let me. Don't make me fight her. Of course you are. Of course you're making me fight her. Is she dancing? She is. She's a little too happy for this. Oh, she's she's far too happy for this. I I gotta get out of the way. Thank you. I need I ah, I I was just saying I need more space because I do because I really do. No 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 no. Oh, she's drenched me, hasn't she? Yeah. She has, she has, she has, she has, but I'm, I'm just trying to get through this without getting that off. Don't attack me. No, damn it. Uh, it's, don't, do not go too crazy here. Thank you, don't, just don't. Okay, one more, one more of those combos though. No, no, no. Really? The running? No, what? What? What, what was that? What was that, though? What? Oh, come on. Wait. Items. Purifying embers. And... Well, I have sacred water, so let's use them. This is not gonna be... <laughs> A good grade, is it? What? What am I dodging, though? There. What am I dodging? What am I dodging? What am I dodging? What am I dodging? Wait, no, out. What the fuck am I dodging? I'm sorry, but I have no idea what I'm dodging. What is this? Where is she? You. You ass. Where are you? Ah, no, no, ah. Uh -uh. Oh, holy crap, I'm close to dead. What the fuck, sorry, but the hell is this? Whatever this is, this is not good. Holy crap. How did she keep attacking me and why did she keep attacking me? What, what attacked me? She wasn't even near me when this, whatever that was, happened. I didn't know what that was. I seriously don't. I have no idea, and this is going to give me a very bad rating, but yeah. Anyway. A woman dressed like a shrine maiden. Is she connected to the note that I found? Well, she tried to kill you. That's what happened. The album of postmortem photographs was assembled by a folklorist who lived on the mountain. His name was Keiji Watarai. Excuse me. And he became fascinated by the custom and moved to Mount Hikami to study how it spread through Japan. My father seemed to take an interest in these photos as well. Some strange foreign customs, excuse me, always fascinated him. While he was running the inn, he helped Watarai collect postmortem photographs from the nearby town. And Mount Hikami water itself was deified. It seemed like uh, Watarai wanted to get a deeper understanding of this unique outlook, so he set up a house in the forest to experience it firsthand. Ooh, I want to get to that house. That sounds like a good place. 
well, a bad place, but a good place that I want to go and a good place for atmosphere. Um, he was greatly aided by my father, who had already set up the inn by that point. He remodeled it from an old unused shrine. I think he thought the extra religious heft would help attract more visitors. One day, the folklorist went missing. Several people formed a search party, but they were unable to find a trace. Even the road to his house seemed to have been lost to the woods. My father scoured the mountain too, but all he found was that photo album. He was soaking wet when he came back. I remember he was acting strangely. His eyes had this curious glint, almost like he'd been possessed by something. The next thing I knew, my father went missing as well. I'd forgotten about the photos until I found them in the old building after the landslide. But now I understand why my father left what had I left, what had I too. These photos are so beautiful. Okay. Keiji Watarai, a folklorist who lived on Mount Hikami. Hisuka probably has some books about him. We should get back. Nui needs some rest. So do I. The photo album left behind by the innkeeper was put together by a folklorist who lived on Mount Hikami. As Nen and Nui explored the inn and traced the spirit of its owner, a ghost tried to lure Nui to suicide. Then, through the, op the pouring rain, an ominous shrine maiden appeared. Uh, then Nendori left the mountain with more questions than when they started. See? S? What? An S? How the fuck did that happen? Again, I'm not complaining, but... An S rating for such a horrible performance and almost getting killed three times? What? What? <laughs> I really, really, I'm, I'm happy about this. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm happy I'm getting an ass rank. Postmortem photography, trophy earned. Um, I just don't think I deserve it. I don't. Interlude, shadow reading, Yuri Kozukata. I, I really don't. <laughs> I don't deserve it. With Hisoka still missing, Yuri recalls what you witnessed on a mountain, Fukuhi taking her own life while entranced by a malevolent spirit, and the bodies of dead shrine maidens washed up at the pool of purification. These disquieting images leave Yuri with no doubt that Mount Hikami House is some kind of horrifying secret. Yuri takes the camera obscura that she found on the mountain and begins searching for a token that will lead her to Hisoka. That she found the money and so okay, yes. All right, interlude. Oh. sorry. I think I picked up kind of a cold. Okay, I have about an objective has been set. Is there other stuff though? I want to check for other stuff first. There's some baskets and foul cases on top of the dresser. Hisuka set them out for me, but I'm not sure what to do with them. That one has a note in it. A pile of cardboard boxes. But I know, I, I don't want to go anywhere. I just wanted to check everything else. I'm getting really hungry, by the way. Like, really, really, really hungry. Uh, that's that. I, I really, I still can't wrap my head around the fact that I got an A rating. I have no idea how, how these things are calculated, or if they're just random, because I don't deserve it. Anyway, Hisuka's camera obscura is on the desk. Shadow on the water. This is the only picture from the camera obscura that shows anything. Hmm, okay. A dark silhouette standing on what looks like a body of water. There are other photos. The other photos are no good. They're all black, as if they were exposed to strong light. Um. Uh, what? You mean d during processing? This doesn't tell me anything. Maybe there are more clues in Hisoka's room. Maybe. Um, can I, by the way? Yes, I think I can. 
I don't have, no, no. 100,000 points, that's pretty good, but oh, oh, I upgrade each one separately. Holy crap. Uh, hmm. Absorption. Increasing attack distance. Output potential damage dealt. Spirit power. Gimme it. Gimme, gimme. Um, okay. So we need to explore the house again. Oh, I wonder how far we are in the story. Because so far, I'm not... I mean, I know we're investigating around this place, but so far, I don't really have a sense of what our ultimate goal is. Not really. Not, no, not really. Except maybe get Hisoka back. Hisoka Kurosawa leaving a room, yeah. She liked to sit at her desk to relax. The Japanese style of the room helped her de-stress. Hmm. Radio. Oh, I can open something. Yeah, open. Open. There's not going to be anything in here. Nope. Um, the radio I can't check. I can check the mirror. Um, a tobacco tray and an accessory case sit on top of a low chest of drawers. The tobacco tray is being used as an accessory case. What can I open? There was something I could open. The drawer is locked. The camera obscure is reacting to it. Sure, let's. Oh, that was easy. Uh, under her bed? Is that her bed? Or is that my bed? It's the rest storeroom on the first floor. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go there. Isn't there something else to check? The bed has been tucked. This room used to be a study, but and the bed was in another room. He's gonna move the bed so I could take a room. Mm. Okay. All right. So storeroom. Are the ghosties also gonna start appearing uh, in your house? I believe that was the case in the third game. I remember. I don't know why I remember that, but I remember a shower scene actually. Yeah, same as before. Um, which is kind of weird. Yeah, that's probably this room, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Forgive you for what? Girl in uniform. I don't think I've seen her before. What was that? Is there something in the... Yep, well, probably the key for uh, the desk. I would assume. That would make sense. There's an old file on top of some luggage. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Akari Narumi. Looks like a report on a shadow reading case, but it most of it has been erased, making it difficult to read. Client Akari Narumi. No, subject. Client Kyoko Narumi. Token personal photo. Details. Results. Subject deceased. Nothing I could do. Um, a girl in school uniform has been crumpled up so many times you can't make out the face. Um, there's something I wanted to say. Uh, yeah, that's, that was probably the, uh, wait. Hmm. There was something in this room, right? Wait. It 
was this room? It is this room. Oh, come on. Open it. I guess I let go a little too early. Hmm. If there is nothing of interest here... Wait. I'm looking for a key though, aren't I? I am looking for a key, I think. Check. No, open. I'm, I'm trying to uh, press circle on everything, but I don't think anything's actually, nothing's reacting, no. Camera isn't reacting to anything either. So is that what I was supposed to find? Nothing else? Weird. Can I open the drawer now? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, physics uh, has a strange way of working in this game or in these games. So, especially this game. So maybe, maybe it works. I don't know, we'll see. Let's check. Let us check. Where is it? no? I can't do a trace. That, that's it. yeah. Come on. No. Hmm. That was um, strangely unsatisfying. So. We are just gonna leave now, are we? I think so. I believe we are. And what other choice do we have? And the answer is none. <laughs> That's the choice that we have. Oh, I haven't been here before. No, I haven't. Symbol design, okay. Ooh, an old tower. Very old one. Cassette players. Or VHS or whatever. Oh, the bookshelf is packed with thick tomes. Most came free with other antiques. And they've been kept in the hope that we can sell them too. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Wait, that leads outside, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It leads to the store. Okay. And do it. Do it. Let's shoot you. Take. Well, whatever. Kisuka Kurosawa at the counter. I used to make a cup of coffee every morning after closing. Closing? Opening. Ah, uh, whatever. Drinking that rich, warm coffee was always so comforting. Why do you talk about her like she's she's dead? She's not officially gone. I mean, I, I don't believe she is. You're saying she's just not here, and yet you're talking like she's never going to come back. And that seems maybe a little drastic, don't you think? Fridge. This is where we keep the various coffees and teas. Hisuka only buys things for regions and brands that she likes. These ingredients aren't for the drinks we serve in the cafe, but for the people who come to buy the beans and tea leaves to use at home. I'm still, yeah, we've, we've read that. I have a feeling the radio may be helpful. Nope, oh, nope. Nothing's gonna be helpful. Nope, that's the same as before. Rain is so pouring outside. Ordinarily, I turn the lights off and clean up, but I think I'll leave them on for now. It's an antique sofa. It's been here since I first came to the shop. I don't think it will sell, but Hisoka doesn't seem to mind. Yeah, okay. So, should I leave? But... Ah, but I... 
is there anywhere else I can go? Because I've, I've picked that up. I thought that was supposed to be my clue. There was nothing else. I mean, I'll, I'll walk around a little more if that's what you want, but I find it weird. Is this a, it's a door, right? No idea where this takes me, but let's go. Oh, this storeroom, oh my goodness. Uh, that's where the confusion about the first floor comes in. Because first floor in Europe would not be this. This would be like the ground floor. First floor would be up. So, uh, yeah, well, cultural differences. That's what happens. Uh, a Japanese style blind has been hung here. The fabric looks like it's been repurposed from something else. Okay. A bit of time left, but not too much. Hold to pick up. Dun, 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 dun. There's something under the bed. It's not going to be a monster, is it? No, it's a small key. Maybe. You think so? Ah, oh, Miku Hinazaki. Uh, it looks like a shadow reading request. Case closed is written in large le red letters. Ah, oh, Miku, the protagonist of the first game. Uh, excuse my getting excited about this. Subject, Miku Hinasaki, Klein, Sachi, Iyama, a friend. Token, personal photo. Details, disappeared, searching for her missing brother. Love you. But was found. Mother of one, father unknown. Disappeared again three years later. Disappeared again three years later. Hmm, I don't remember that. Uh, no photographer. Klein is her daughter's guardian. Results, search abandoned. Attempted shadow reading several times, but traces were too weak to follow. Subject, suspect subject is alive, but a newer or stronger token is required. It may be that the subject does not want to be found. A warm but lonely expression. She looks like she might fade away at any moment. Yeah, it looks a little older than her in the first game, but yeah. Tsumugi Katashina. It looks like there are a few more pages in there. Tsumugi Katashina. Family physician. Personal photo. Details. Unstable family. Tendency to blame herself for strife with her half sister. Bears self inflicted wounds. Note strict family may be the cause. We'll ask doctor for care after a subject is found. <gasps> Result search abandoned. Contacted by family. Matter has been turned over to the police. Have been asked to drop the investigation. Tsunagi. Her face seems tinged with sadness. She's still missing, but her family has given up the search. She seems familiar. Where have I seen her? Huh. Case closed is written in large red letters. Oh, that's me. Yuri Kozukata. Yuri Kozukata. Client, no idea. Token personal photo. Details emotionally unstable after family lost an accident. Stopped going to school a few days ago. Neighbors say she left home as normal. Note, claim to see things others can't. Now recovered. Result, taken into custody. Observation required. Safely in my custody. Believe close attention is, is necessary. We'll look after her for a while. You need a high school graduation photo. Just look at that intense expression. I wonder how much I've changed since then. I still have a hard time looking at mirrors. Um, I would say not at all, but that's just me. Okay. Anyway. Okay. I'm just realizing that when I now check the, uh, the recording time, it actually always stops. It never did that before, did it? Hmm. Is it this room? No. That's mine, apparently. So hers is somewhere back here. <clears throat> here we go. I just realized R2 also works for doing things. Not just circle. Excuse me, I'm getting tired and hungry and all of those things, so. Haruka Momose. 
Yeah, that's the the girl that we were looking for with uh, Fiji. There's a file tucked away in the desk drawer. It contains photos and several sheets of paper. Subject, Haruka Momosa. Client at Kimino. Friend. Token personal photo details. Client and subject used to be cafe regulars. A group suicide was reported at the time of disappearance. Connection unknown. Note, a quiet gentle girl seemed keen to please others. Oh, she's pretty. <gasps> Haruka Momosa. Compared to her photo with Fuyi, she has a somewhat darker expression. I don't know. I would say she looks pretty cute. Miyu Hinasaki. Yeah, she's um, who we saw in the prologue. Looks like someone else who went missing on the mountain. Ah, Miyu Hinasaki. S. Iyama, foster mom. So she is the child of uh, Miku, our first game's protagonist. Yeah, okay. Details when looking for a birth mother, missing since subject's childhood, uttered something about Mount Hikami, according to her talent agent. Talent agent? Said to possess psychic powers, client is very worried. A photo of a slender, elegant young woman. So this is Miyu Hinasaki. Talent agent. Call from a client. Oh, we still have cassette tapes. A cassette tape from an answering machine. The label shows a date and the client's name. Oh my goodness, so much to read. A missing person's file for one Kazuya Sakaki. I've heard Hisoka mention the name before. I haven't. Kazuya Sakaki, client Ren Hojo. Ah, uh, personal photo. Known to wander off, went incommunicado while gathering postmortem photographs for Ren. Awaiting possible, possible contact. Gives a bad impression. Seems quite unlike that. Oh, oh, a guy, okay. Yeah. Oh, Kazuya. Well, of course. He's a friend of Ren's, but I've never met him. He looks weird. <laughs> oh my goodness, come on, so much. There is so much going on here. <laughs> We're running out of time actually because we've been reading so much. There was a journal tucked away in the drawer. It looks like some notes relating to clients. Uh, met with a potential client, doesn't know whether subject is alive or dead, says she may have wandered off somewhere. Maybe waiting for help. Doesn't want to leave home in case subject comes back on her own. I tripped up, said something I shouldn't have. I asked what she'd do if we find her. She laughed and said, when she gets back, there are things I want to tell her. So she's talking about Fuyi. Uh, her smile looked forced. She looked worn down by it all. I shouldn't mind my own business. I'm worried about Yuri going alone. I'm worried about Yuri alone, but this one is urgent. No time to lose, I have to go. This file lists the missing person cases that he's about to go on. Yep. I may be able to track her down if I use this photograph as a token. Okay. So I can head out now. Alright. Um, I'll try to do that just so I get the autosave. <laughs> because I uh, actually need that. I also need to go downstairs. How can I go out here? Um, and then, unfortunately, we're going to have to end this because there was just uh, a ton of reading and that cost almost all of our time, sadly. Stupidly, but it is what it is. Um, so I think we're also trying to um, establish a, a plot line here where a plot line is, is being established. So this all revolves around her cases that she got from um, you. That there seems to be some uh, interconnectedness going on. Going outside, yeah. Um, Hisoka, this time I'm the one who'll save you. Using the camera obscura, Yuri found a number of missing person case files connected to Mount Hikami. She's now more determined than ever to head back to the mountain and find Hisoka. Processing and saving. Thank God. Um, all right. Uh, I was at 20%, so we are 20% done. Um, okay, got lots of points too. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, I have to end this year already. I wish I could continue. At the same time, I'm... 
I'm extremely hungry and I really, <laughs> I really need to eat something. My stomach's growling. Um, yeah, I think the game is picking up speed a little. I still think there are too many mechanics in here that necessarily, that didn't necessarily have to be in it. Um, many of them are probably just because they wanted to make use of uh, the motion sensors of the Wii U. The Wii? I don't, I don't know which time this came out. Probably just Wii U. Um, and that's fair enough. They need a selling point for that. Um, but it's it's getting darker. It's getting a little more tense. Um, we're seeing some connectedness between these things. So I'm getting a little more into this, much more than I was during the first two parts of this. Uh, far less shitting on the game now, right? <laughs> Rightfully so. Um, so yeah, I, I guess uh, if you still are watching, I will see you for the next part. I'm gonna get some food now to calm my starving stomach. <laughs> and I may see you in part five. So bye-bye.